And so I'd like to bring up our next speaker, Mok from Powis, to speak to you about LGBTQ liberation. Hello, and good afternoon, girls, gays, theys, everybody, and all in between. My name is Magaru Dakonafan, and I'm a non-binary lesbian organizer based here in San Jose with the Filipino Association of Workers and Immigrants and a member of the Santa Clara uh, County Wage Theft Coalition. Many of you may be wondering how the struggle for gay liberation relates to today's celebration of May Day. So let me do a quick queer history lesson. The founders of the modern LGBTQ movement were, spe were spearheaded by absolute legends like Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. These were trans women of color who rebelled against police raids of gay bars in New York like the Stonewall riots. They realized the material impact of homophobia and transphobia, like things in housing insecurity, job discrimination, drug abuse, intimate partner violence, and more. And especially today, it is the leadership, especially of black, indigenous, brown, trans women that continue to push for our rights, for our welfare, and for the liberation of the LGBTQ, not only here in the US, but overall in the world. And I wanna highlight the use of gay liberation over gay rights. Although gay rights like marriage are important and we will continue to fight for it, we know that the true impact of homophobia and transphobia means life or death in our working class communities. This means that the issues of the working class are ones like adequate access to free and affirming health care. It means access to safe and stable housing. It means affirming and scientifically accurate gender and sex education to our community. It means a pathway to citizenship. It means an end to worker discrimination and wage theft. And it means an end to violent systems of oppression like imperialism, which enforce homophobia and transphobia in our home countries and result in the violence of our siblings. So we must continue to militantly fight against homophobia and transphobia, from local bigoted legislation to international hate crimes and murder. This May Day, we, we, may we remember the LGBT community as not an afterthought or a coincidence or separate from workers, but actually a vital part of our own diverse community. So as Marsha P. Johnson, the queen herself said, there is no pride for some of us without liberation for all of us. Thank you. En breve, está hablando de la comunidad LBGT, que son trabajadores y que todas nuestras luchas están conectadas. 